All right, here's a little demo of this. Uh, it's kind of an open AI GPT chat clone. And of course, it's running in a Docker container here. You can see uh, I got it right there running. And I got a Neo4j running. So here's the actual Docker Compose file. I was going to talk to you about, Lisa. It's, it's just a, a very simple file here that pulls these images out. And for you, you don't need to build the images. I, I can build these locally and have special images. But they, you know, usually when we make a Docker image, we put it up in the Docker Hub, and you can just grab it and run it. So here's a simple service that turns on Olama, which is an LLM server, essentially an API. So you can, you know, you can hit the server remotely with an API call or curl call. Here's the open web, open uh, web UI. Very simple. And it exposes it on port 8080. And there's some things here I can help you with, you know, like GPU access. So that was the one that was a big problem for me is getting GPU access and a few other things like Cloudflare. Cloudflare allows me to host, um, you know, have a host name for uh, my web service on my local network. So I have that local server here running with those GPUs and Neo4j, which I'm not going to use yet. And this little video here will just be showing you this. I'll make another video here in a little bit showing you uh, how to use the graph query, make an ontology and then kind of link them together with an LLM and it's pretty awesome. I'm just trying to work it out so I can hook it up to this here. So let's go back. <clears throat> oh, sorry, web UI here. And you can see it's running. Oh, that's the wrong one. Let me, uh, let me go back to the web page. You can see it's running here on my server, GPT N64 Tech. I do that with a tunnel. So let me show you that real quick too. Uh, Cloudflare, I log in. And you can see my little tunnels here. I have a couple. All right, so you go to Zero Trust, and then you go to uh, Networks, and there's tunnels. I have a couple tunnels running right now. Uh, this one, VPC2, uh, is my uh, um, superset instance. And VPC1, if it's running, it may not even be running right now. And v VPC1 is this web UI. So here, Looks pretty neat, right? It actually is pretty powerful. It's a simple tool. You can just say, you know, tell me about mission engineering. And you can select several different models. I have a few different, I have a 22B code that's for Python code. The Gemma and Mistral are the best ones for quick and easy answers. And you don't really need a big model if you use these rag tools. So, you know, you're kind of seeing that too. So if I hit, hit this here, it will search and let me show you my little cool. Oh shoot. So nice answer, right? You get a cool answer. Um, let me log in here. And you can kind of watch the GPUs running here if you do that. But what you can do now is I can do it something like give it a, a give it a, a, a file. And I actually have in this, there's a cool tool called Workspace here, and you can put documents in here. So I have mission engineering documents. I have MDSC, which is model-based system engineering documents, NASA documents, DOD documents. You could build a huge library of documents right here in this tool with a very simple turn on. I mean, the, the, to turn this whole thing on is literally three words, Docker compose up. That's it, it runs the whole thing. So let's go back and we'll do it again. And then, and this time I will say, hey, use mission engineering the mission engineering document which is the that's the government's mission engineering document you know tell me about mission and so it'll use that now to and it, uh, to look and it also gives you references in here where where it got the data at so that's that's another way of doing it the third way of doing this is kind of neat is i have a google search engine hook set up and it's got all kinds of fun stuff uh, set up to search a bunch of websites that I use all the time for, for engineering. So I can say, hey, turn on the web search and say, you know, tell me about mission engineering. Boom. Now you can run this in your office and you can hook this right up to like your SharePoint. Of course, you're already doing this. You might know this, but this front end is free. It doesn't cost any money. Easy to use. It's great. Oh, what the heck is that? That's wrong. What did I say? Tell me about mission engineering. Hmm, that was a weird. That's a weird answer. Sometimes you can use a bigger model, like a llama model. So now, if we do it again, uh, 
This is fun, and you can also watch uh, watch the GPUs fire off because this that big llama model is huge. That's a llama three model. It's like uh, it takes up all my GPU RAM. I have 64 gig of RAM on my GPUs, uh, 16 a piece, and um, <clears throat> you can see it loading them up right there. Takes a second for this big model. It only takes a second. Takes time the first time. Uh, once you load the model, it goes pretty quick from then on. And you can ask this thing to have just one model only. I have a bunch of models going to just test them out and comparing them. Mm -hmm. So there it goes. Uh, you can see it's churning right now. It's thinking. Um, yeah, it's kicking butt now. It's going to give me the same answer. It's weird. Uh, it's because I'm searching that website. It's weird. I don't know why it's doing mission engineering. But another cool thing you can do here is um, you can compare these. That's why I'm doing this now. So let's compare the model to model. So let's compare Gemba to that. So or Gemma. So I say uh, this is just the models running by themselves, and it'll give you two model responses. It's cool. You can take a look at them, see which one's better. Um, so you know you can search the web and kind of gain uh, metadata that way or context. You can also search local files in your workspace and gain context. There's a bunch of other things you can do here uh, that are pretty powerful. And it has to do one at a time. So it's going to load one model, shut this model down, and load the, no the next model. It's, it'll also read it out loud to you. Mission engineering encompasses the systematic application of engineering. So it's sweet. And this one even gave me a, a reference for it. You know, it's, I don't know why it keeps going to that. It's interesting. I have to look at. I may not have enough websites. I only have a few specified right now. That's it right now. Um, I'll do another video here in a little bit of the actual uh, Do4j um, database, which is a you know graph database hooked up to Jupyter Lab, and then doing some ontology development and then querying the ontology with an LLM. That's awesome. All right, later.